Good morning all and welcome to day five here at the Commonwealth Games at the NEC Arena, Birmingham. I'm Pamela Cookie, former England netball captain and two times Commonwealth Games medalist. So first up today, we have Australia versus Wales. Watch out for Nia Jones. She has only ever played Australia once in her career and she's definitely up for the challenge against one of the world's best at wing attack, Liz Watson. As a shooter, I can appreciate 100% against any international opposition is no mean feat. And for Australia yesterday, they did it three times with three of their shooters. First with Buweta, 34 from 34 attempts, Keonan, 14 from 14, and Wood, 14 from 14 as well. Those are high numbers. Pal Davis and Shaw for Wales will have to really hustle to keep that down. Then we have Jamaica versus Scotland. Look out for young Emma Barry, also known as Baz. Yet to have a star in this competition, but when she has come on, she's shot really well. She and her teammates will have to find a big way of getting through that formidable Jamaican defensive end. Then I think it's the game of the day, England versus Uganda. The she cranes are looking good with Mary Cholhock at six foot seven. She's been found really nicely by her feeders and the Roses will have to literally rise to the occasion to try and get balls off her. The Roses, though, are confident, they're happy and they're well equipped for the task. Housby has finally come into this game and joined the party. 20 from 20 goals yesterday. It's great to see her getting her shooting back on track. I think today for Thelby, you'll see less changes in the mix-up as England start to prepare for the business end of the competition. And then lastly, we have New Zealand versus Trinidad and Tobago. Watch out for Oprah Douglas from TNT and Whitney Sulis from New Zealand. Both play in that centre court, both are quick and nippy and have an eye for their shooters. Enjoy the games guys and I can't wait to come back and fully win later in the week.